Today's Labor Day. Waking up, still pregnant. We're gonna clean out this place and then head out to LA. This is the last day, I swear. Last day of nesting. I don't even have my shoes intact anymore because it's so messy. And um, since I've been on my feet all day, I think it might be just a little swollen. Not much. I don't think it's that swollen. It's huge. Hey, let me show you the fridge. <sighs> okay. Let's see. What are we doing? You could check out um, more fridges at Home Depot. So this refrigerator we have to replace because it's broken. It's been 10 years and um, we need to replace it. it. Keeps dying on us. So we're trying to figure out if we should have a counter depth fridge or a regular fridge. So anyway, uh, I wanna know if I should fix it or we should just buy a new one because it's 10 years old. Mm -hmm. But this fridge is like seven, $8,000. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna spend that again. Mm -hmm. For our next fridge, but then the normal the normal size fridge is like 36. This mm -hmm. is 42. Okay. So if we got a normal size fridge, you see the yellow tape? Mm-hmm. It'll be this size of the yellow tape. What? It's a normal size fridge, so right here. It won't even fit. It fits, it's just you have a gap. You have, you have that six That's inch a gap. huge gap. Six inches, so three inches on each side. So either that or buy another one, it's about seven or eight thousand. Oh my god. Okay. So, this is a counter depth. Mm -hmm. it's, it's 24 inches plus door. Mm -hmm. The new one will come out an another until right here. That's crazy far. So you get more space, but you see how it sticks out? Yeah. And on top of that, the width is like that. So if you don't want me to buy a new fridge, I can try to just fix this one. Let's try to fix this one, okay. It's weird. It's like weird spacing. Or you can wait till there's a sale during like Black Friday or something. There's sales right now, it's Labor Day. Okay. But they don't have sales on the 42 inch counter decks. Well, I'm sure there's gotta be some that comes up. All right, we're at Home Depot right now. And before we head in there, we're going to have lunch in the car. We just ordered some Taco Bell. Simple eats, quick and easy. Before we start our day, yeah. Fast food, okay? It's Labor Day anyway. Yeah. Probably nothing open. I think they would, but hey, I thought you were stops. talking about um, this, this labor. labor. <laughs> Come out! Maybe. Once again, Home Depot. Look how cute. There's my husband loading up some cabinets for the uh, garage. I think we ordered three. Three full cabinets. Clean up time. I'm back home now. I'm in my room. Lately I've been feeling really emotional. A little depressed. I don't know why. I just laid here and started crying and just really overwhelmed. My whole body hurts. My hands, when I fold it, it's just so sore and I don't know, everything just freaking hurts. So I'm just trying to calm myself down and relax a bit and not worry too much. Just contemplating life and where it's going, where it's heading. I feel like sometimes I, it's hard for me to breathe. I feel like I'm carrying everyone's weight all the time. There's no space. I'm kind of just tired of it. Baby's still here. I gotta stay focused, be positive, and not think about it too much. Here's an update of our garage. 
new cabinets in. I'm gonna keep everything in there so it doesn't collect dust. And I transfer shoes because look how big my feet is. Now it's swollen. I have to wear Brian's shoes. We're gonna get dinner at Pyology. Compare it to Blaze, see if it's any better. figured out what I've been having this whole time. It's called lightning crotch. When you get zapped in the crotch 24-7, every single step. Okay, this is a little bit more confusing than the other place. They don't have anything labeled, but it's okay. Um, there's our pizza, ready to go into the oven. Same style as Blaze Pizza. Here's our pizza. Let's see if it's burnt underneath. Okay, not too bad. So they have vegetarian choices here. So if you guys are interested, you have that option. And we got a side of wings right here. And crunk fries. One of the So Brian likes Pyology better than Blaze Pizza. Mm -hmm. um, they did not burn it. Uh, crust was thin and um, crusty, crispy. And uh, they have vegan options, and they also have um, chicken and fries. <laughs> so more option than Blaze Pizza. There is one more pizza place that I want to try out. It's called Mod Pizza. So lots of pizza places coming up, Chipotle style, you know, where you pick your pizza toppings and um, crust, whatnot. They have subway like subway style. Yeah, subway style. So they have four different types of crusts. They have pan. Gluten free, um, cauliflower, thin crust, artisan, all that stuff. So, yeah, interesting. We're gonna go home and clean some more and then uh, probably head out tonight or tomorrow to LA. They're good, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, here are my Christmas CDs. It is time to let it go. Nobody listens to CDs anymore. Everything's on the internet. So we're gonna take it to the dumpster. Let's go. This is all we have left. This is probably about 400 CDs? Uh, I think it was like 400. Yeah. So this truck right there to the dumpster. Bye. If you guys want the music, check it out on my website, um, on min.net slash am. <laughs> Finally, we are done cleaning this place. Oh my God, so much work. Epoxy is in, it dried. We didn't use the specs because it wasn't cute. Organized everything and um, I just wiped down the floors here, so it's kind of wet, but it smells nice. So yeah, everything nice and neat. We are back home now. Baby is still in there, just chilling. Kicking up a storm. Oh, now he's camera shy. Oh, look at my stumpy toes. <gasps> okay, guys. Good night. Oh, I feel him. I feel him. Right here. His foot right here. <sighs> Oh, by the way, I cut myself while I'm trying to take off the um, paint off the ground. So it was a bloodbath in the restroom earlier. Anyways, there it is. Put Neosporin on it and uh, should be good to go. Okay. Good night, guys. Toodles. Good night, Brian. Good night.